Marcus Scotty reporting on the latest 2020 election stuff going on right now. Beto O'Rourke making a run for the presidency out out raises Bernie Sanders, the front runner, in the first 24 hours. Bernie Sanders raised 5.9 million, and Beto O'Rourke, Beta O'Rourke, out raises him by. $2.2 million to $6.1 million. How did he do it? Wow. I thought he was a shit sandwich. Nobody knows who he is. So so the election fraud and the collusion between the DNC and the corporatists and the mainstream fake news media has continued. It hasn't begun. It's continuing on untouched. Right? So, again, we know Bernie Sanders is the front runner based on the, the numbers, but... Uh, so let's have a look. Let's have a look. But first, let's watch this video, man. It's a fucking great video, man. You're going to love this shit, man. You start your day off with a fucking bikini brawl, man. A fucking black chick kicking the shit out of each other, man. Kick your motherfucking ass. <laughs> Fucking brawl, man. That's now that's some spring break shit right there. I right? fucking unbelievable. Man. <laughs> All right, so where were we? Yeah, but Beto O'Rourke is cheating, right? So no, no way to. I guess that's what that's politics right there, right? It's fucking. You got some demo. You got some some uh, politics of uh, spring break. You look at my man. That's my man. Hey, if you like the uh, programming here, if you uh, like people people powered media. Kindly become a Patreon by going to my channel and clicking on the Patreon link. We're looking for 300 strong. We're up to 27. We're almost there. And uh, if you want to make a one-time contribution, hit this right here, PayPal, and uh, send a one-time contribution. I'll send you stickers if you include your mailing address. So what's going on here? So Beto O'Rourke, right? This is Beto Beto. Is that if I get his name right? Yeah, Beto O'Rourke pulled in a massive fundraising haul, and t and 2020 competitors are noticing. No, only the corporatists are noticing, right? They're comparing apples to oranges, right? Did he raise $6.1 million? It seems so. He's declaring it, so he may have to back that up with numbers later on. But how many people gave to the campaign? Nobody knows. Why? Because they didn't tell the campaign, never told the media how many people Contributed. Let's read. Beto O'Rourke raised more than any other Democratic presidential candidate in the first 24 hours after announcing his 2020 bid. But we still don't know some crucial details. <laughs> some? You don't know the whole thing. How many people? Was it two rich guys that gave six million? We don't know. The, de the Texas Democrat announced Monday that his campaign pulled in $6.1 million in online donations in the, f in the 24 hours after his announcement, by comparison. By comparison, Bernie Sanders' president cam uh, presidential campaign uh, said it raised $5.9 million from more than 223,000 donors in the first 20 24 hours. And Senator Kamala Harris raised $1.5 million in that time. So, so it's interesting that Beto O'Rourke outraised Bernie Sanders by, by a, a $0.2 million in the first 24 hours, right? Beto O'Rourke campaign didn't specify the number of contributors, <laughs> nor did it do denote an average donation. Ah, stop right there. Put the brakes on, right? So it's, it's fudge numbers. Remember, Beto O'Rourke is a is a you know a spoiled rich kid is you know billions of dollars 
he married a you know married into billions of dollars. He's a rich Texan kid, right? Guy with he ran against uh, Tom Cruise, uh, fucking Ted Cruz, in Texas, right? He's a nobody. You you saw his campaign pitch. It's all platitudes. He has no grassroots. He has no enthusiasm. He has he's he's. He's uh, in the polls, whatever, if we even believe polls anymore. He's polling in like like the 2%, 5% percentile. And Bernie Sanders is, is clearly a front runner. So um, the first uh, Federal Election Commission official quarter campaign finance followings won't be public until April. Until then, there is no way to drill down the numbers. The numbers being how many people contributed and what was the average donation? With Bernie Sanders, we know. 20, 223,000 donations, donors in the first 24 hours, average donation $27, right? So, again, fake story, right? It's, it's a way, watch in April. People will forget about it, right? And then there'll be a correction. Oh, yeah, well, there was, you know, some far, far less. So this is collusion. This is media collusion. Let's plug... Let's plug Beto O'Rourke, shit sandwich, and hold him up to the front runner, the authentic Bernie Sanders. Now, is Bernie, how's Bernie Sanders doing? He's looking fucking old. He's got a patch on his head. He's, they, they shoot him in the, in the, he looks like he's in a fucking old age home. But he's, very, he's still very uh, brainy. Bernie Sanders spent much of 2016 of, of revolution. Talking of revolution, in, in 2019, he turns to the subject that's a bit more pragmatic, electability. I don't know what he's saying. It doesn't matter. But here's, here's, some, here's some clips from... Uh, oh, this is, these are my clips from... This is uh, Union Square Park in um, 2016. And uh, that I was there, you know. Bernie Sanders, Bernie Sanders, Bernie Sanders, All the young people. Bernie Sanders, Bernie Sanders, Bernie Sanders. My point is that this is what grassroots looks like, right? This is, there's no candidate there. There's just, there's no, there was no candidate there on that day. It was just a rally for Bernie Sanders. You know, 10,000 kids show up. Marching down the street of Manhattan, no candidate, unprecedented. No, there's no way, point to a presidential candidate that has ever had that kind of grassroots movement. Can he reproduce it? Bernie he is doing. Sanders, Bernie Sanders. Yes, he is. He is reproducing it. We already know he's reproducing it. I was at the. I, I was there. I saw the rally. The rallies are real. He's doing it. Bernie Sanders, Bernie Sanders, Bernie Sanders. I think I got one other one. So it's just one. That's a lot of people. Wow, that's a lot of people. So there you go, just piling out into the street, Union Square, right? It was last year. Where's where's uh, Beto O'Rourke's rally? Where's all the grassroots? Where's the people coming out? He raised six million dollars. Where's the, where's the Where's the donors? Where's the people? Isn't it about, aren't elections about the voters, the number of people? How many people gave to your campaign? Right? Are we just going to, again, buy elections and that's okay? Vox, the, the people reporting it, uh, CNN, Vox, the Time, New York Times, they don't seem to mind. They don't seem, they seem to think of it as, a, as trivial. Money is money. <laughs> that's a good sign right there. Right there. That says it all. Bernie is not for sale. Now, I know, I know, Bernie, this is a Bernie video. No, it's not a Bernie video. It's, a, it's an election fraud video where you have a clear front runner 
And then you have a billionaire trying to buy the election, right? He's trying to, he's muscling his way into an election. He's a shit sandwich, nothing but platitudes. He doesn't stand for anything. He's not for the people. He's a corporatist. He's just going to, he's just going to side. The Democrats give him the, the, the uh, nomination and he sides with the corporations and the, and, and he loses to Trump. So anyway, that's the uh, what's the takeaway? What's the takeaway? What's the takeaway? So, so election fraud is alive and well. Collusion between the mainstream media and the DNC is alive and well. Mainstream media, fake news, right? They they look at it and say, "Oh shit, Beto O'Rourke raised six million dollars. Maybe we'll get some of that money, right?" Because regular people are not going to give shit to fake news, right? Regular people are giving their money directly to the Bernie Sanders. Uh, campaign, right? But that's not how, that's, you could see the the conflict of interest and the sheer interest in that money by the fake news media because fake news will suck up to the donors <clears throat> who we don't even know who they are right now, <clears throat> right? And we'll find out in April and it's almost certain that it will be a very small number of people giving a lot of money Right? It's, it's called painting the tape. That's what they call on Wall Street when one trader trades to the other guy and that guy trades back to this guy and they drive the price up. They, you could do it with, with paintings as well. They're painting the tape. It's a, it's a form of election fraud. Marcus Conti reporting.